come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. Sometimes we're not even ready on Saturdays. No. For years, it turns out. Years. <laughs> we haven't been ready for years. Uh, these are the internet radio superstars. Holly. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by Michaela. <laughs> oh, you, I'm scared. You're talking. You, you put a <laughs> hush tone tonight. Yeah. I was going to yeah. say hush tones yeah. is not. Usually I'm yelling at you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, today I'm, I'm going to have you explain yourself. <laughs> yeah. We went, so, through it. we went through it tonight. <laughs> Michaela, what did we watch tonight? Splice from the year 2009. And boy, Ooh, can you tell by the haircuts? It felt like 2009 tonight. <laughs> yeah, it sure did. <laughs> All right, Splice from 2009, mm-hmm. directed by Vincenzo Natale. Do we know Vincenzo? Do we know? Yes, Cube. Cube. Do we watch the Cube. director of Murder of Cube? Do we watch Cube down No, here? we've never watched it. Really? But, and oh, wow, I was, I was so asking we some people at Cube. work about Cube, and like I they like never it. heard of it. It was like, did you have to be there? And like, I think so. it was a moment. Wait, who's in Cube? The guy from this. Yeah. And the girl from Deep Space Nine. Mm hmm. Wait, her name's watch, Nicole de Boer. What? No, the that, cell. The cell. That, right, so yeah. I get the, I get the no. confused. I no, get the cube like, is, I'm sorry. Cube is different. But he also directed In the Tall Grass, that the, horror oh. movie from a couple years ago. Now, the story oh, yeah. is good. The movie yeah. is not so much. And he did the 2018 Tremors movie. The one that never the TV got movie. seen. Mm-hmm. Wait, which one? You can't say it TV. Just said movie. 2018. Tremors it was a TV pilot for TV. Tremors that oh, they got oh, Kevin the Bacon that, back. Yeah, like Kevin Bacon that yeah. they never. Oh. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and it never aired. It never Probably was a good up. thing because they changed yep. the. Uh, um, they they changed the graboid in that one as well. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a he's a big D- Del Toro co- uh, collaborator. Mm-hmm. He he did um. All those weird uh, TV shows that Del Toro produced, like the the Strain and like, oh, yeah, all those strain. other yeah, weird yeah. ones, like he did, like this guy has directed like every FX TV show, every HBO TV show. He did, I think Hannibal, even so a bunch of Westworld. He's directed a lot of prestige <laughs> I TV. Think I remember him on Hannibal. Yeah, then, he did. Uh, Gamon produced both mm-hmm. this and Hannibal. Mm-hmm. The Cabinet of Curiosities that Guillermo yes, Del Toro he did. thing. He did, he did. every uh, Del Toro he series. Do he's done like two episodes yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. He did the Graveyard Raptor. Mm-hmm. The, the thing I was, I was actually sitting there today, going like, you know, Vincenzo Natale to me was the guy who like he started off with Cube, mm-hmm. you know, and then went uh, had a, a a studio movie with Splice, mm-hmm. and then like where'd he go? And then I went through his filmography, and I'm like, yeah, you haven't. And I'm like, oh shit, I've seen that Haunter. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've seen <laughs> in the Tall Haunter. Grass. There was mm-hmm. another one too. I was like, oh, I've seen that mm-hmm. also. So I have seen his stuff. Okay, he did. They went to direct to video or whatever. Haunter? What is the Haunter? Because it, it was Kristen Dunst. Was it? Okay. Am I wrong? It might be it, whatever it was. It like I saw it, and then it faded away sure, like immediately. Sure. Um, but then yeah, he did a bunch of prestige TV stuff. Yeah, like good TV. I was surprised how much good TV he's uh, directed. TV's right. he not did... really director's medium, so I'll give him a pass on that one. He did two episodes of The Stand mm-hmm. remake. Remember, mm-hmm. everybody saw The Stand I remake. That came and went. I know. Yeah. That's yeah. A, but he the did recent, two of them. Like, was yeah, one, like, the one with Whoopi Goldberg. Right. And Skarsgård. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Oh, Haunter was with Abigail Breslin. Yeah, Abigail Breslin. Oh, okay, it wasn't Kristen Dunst. Big difference. <laughs> yeah, big difference. <laughs> big difference for Kristen Dunst. Yeah. Uh, she looks the same uh, on the poor respect- stereo. Well, like we have it. more respect for Kirsten Dunst in this house. Yes, we do. Okay. Yes, we do. Um, go watch, go watch uh, uh, Fargo season two and go watch. Uh, Lots of things. And with uh, how to be a, a legend in fucking Florida or whatever the Showtime show was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll well, uh, so I guess uh, my initial assessment of him was wrong. It's like I was like, oh, he was a he was a film director who flamed out and ended up in TV, but he's doing like good like good stuff TV, on TV. Yeah. So okay, mm-hmm. he is a sure. uh, has got a good career. Mm-hmm. Um, who's in this movie? Uh, Adrian Brody and uh-huh. Canadian treasure Sarah Pauly. Yeah, it's a Canadian movie. A Canadian it, movie it, with yeah. French backing. Yep. So mm-hmm. Canadian actors and French times actors in the actors. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. Did it feel like a David Cronenberg movie? Just gonna yeah, fo- it, it right felt, up front. It felt like <laughs> it felt like a love letter to no, it, yes. no. It yes. felt like a later, uh, later day Ridley Scott movie. Really? It felt what? like fucking Prom- uh, whatever the Numi Rapace Alien movie is. Prometheus. Yeah, you're it saying like, like maybe some visual cues or the the slimy the color, the color palette of this, okay. the fucking weird whale sperm thingy that, that comes, looks more like existence to me. Yeah. No, this yeah. looks like fucking Prometheus. Okay. 
Oh, I mean, I guess it was like a squid thing. This that, felt squiddish. I think it was the the Canadian I, setting. I dare you? I think when Adrian Bar- Brody and Sarah Polly and uh, the guy Mark something from mm-hmm. a cube walk into the, I'm like, that's he's like Stathis Boris. This is like the fly. It was like the whole <laughs> yeah. thing was setting yeah. up. Yes, it feels. They're the researchers, yeah. right? And they're working on a top secret yes. thing that's going to change the world. Mm-hmm. Before we go too much further into this, I did a little research because I was curious about the horror landscape of 2009. As we should, we need and context. This for is where fascinating. We come out. Yes. Okay. Yes. I feel like I we, this. this year gets overlooked, but I get why. Everyone's looking okay? at 2007. Yeah, 2007, <laughs> but 2009 is like a low key sleeper. Okay, Ooh, first it. of all, we were going out of like torture porn uh-huh. and like Asian uh, like ghost story remakes sure. and into like found footage and American Paranormal because like Paranormal Activity came out in 2007, so we're catching Ooh. that wave. American Paranormal is a great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great name. Trademark that genre. shit. That's a great name yeah. for a genre. Yeah. American the book. Paranormal. The book. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and uh, like, like, uh, like the hunting in Connecticut was about yeah, to kick yeah. off and all these. So like that kind of like w- the Warrens uh, industrial yeah. complex was about to get going. <laughs> yeah. um, so just this year. Okay. This is, I separated this out. I really did my research here. Um, this is just the remakes or sequels that came out in 2009. Okay. Okay. My Bloody Valentine. We just did a couple sure, weeks ago. Sure. The Uninvited. Uh-huh. The Last House on the Left, okay. Friday the 13th, yep. Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, The uh, Final Destination 4 in 3D, <laughs> Sorority Row, It's Alive, Saw 6, and Wrong Turn alive 3. Remake? Yes, there was an yep. It's Alive remake in oh, 2000. Nobody saw it. Yeah, I know. But, yeah, so yeah. that's like a dozen remakes and sequels. Just in 2009. Wow. And then Bijou for, Phillips in the It's a Life Free. Well, I forgot camera. about Bijou Phillips. Yes. Wow, she, she went. went. <laughs> she, wow. well, she's having bad times. Were there <laughs> other like big hitters in 09? Yes. Okay. okay. So the regular, these are like original properties yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Orphan, the other Dark Castle Fantastic. movie that came out this year. Uh-huh. Daybreakers, stay tuned for that on the Freak <laughs> Show. Sure. House of the Devil, the Ty West movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Fourth Kind, a movie that will also come to the Freak that's Show. That's been on my, been on my yeah. list yes. for a while. Yeah. Haunting in Connecticut, The Collector, which kicked off like mm-hmm. what, four movies yeah uh human nope. centipede Ugh. oh wow yep jennifer's body yep. and zombie oh, yeah. land okay so uh, wow. it was a uh, good year for horror movies it over a year for horror. Yeah. Yeah. it was a year yeah yeah well i mean they were doing stuff i like that it was that kind of transition period yes. between like i mean it sounds like we're still it sounds still like it was mm-hmm. a remake year but mm-hmm. you know still but we were transitioning i'll give you that yeah but for every remake there was like an original yeah. counter component too so it's like jennifer's body orphan zombie land like those oh my are God, those yeah. are great movies mm-hmm. and splice uh, oh, so complicated this, feelings this <laughs> movie provoked uh extreme reactions down here in the basement extreme, screening yes. room that i have not heard in a while because i think uh both uh, holly and sean were going into this blind oh yeah no. <laughs> uh, yeah i mean no. I, it, it is it is it's very fun to have skipped movies yeah. 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 15 years ago and have them come back here now and realize why I skipped them. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh, yeah. all right. I, oh okay. I would say I went into it blind. Like I knew of Splice. Right. I, yeah. I was aware of the concept, the, the imagery, whatever, but. How I much was, did you the know? Detail. I was not prepared. But how no. much did, did you, you know? know about like we, the we X-rated were, content? No. No, we knew no. there was an experiment yeah. and that uh, a, uh, a humanoid sort yeah. of. Thing like was I've, created. Seen, I've seen the humanoid thing. Yes, knew, She's like we, naked we, on the we cover. Looked, yeah. like, we knew what she looked like. We knew what she looked like. Bald, a, a sort of twenty-something-year-old uh, kind yeah. of look, but with weird legs and a tail. That's what I knew about this mm-hmm. movie. So you're like, okay, it's going to be like a species, or yeah, uh, yeah, like maybe something, something like, like that. that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I wouldn't say I went into it blind, but I was not prepared for for what, the the for intimate what details. Yeah. We'll say. I wonder, right? Like you, you go like, how did somebody come up with this movie? Yeah. And it seems yeah. like it was, you know, it's like, well, the cloning is a thing that you know people are talking about, and then genetic uh, manipulation. Or, yeah. Like, yeah. And, and what if you fucked it? Well, <laughs> that was always on the whiteboard right? in the okay. writers' room. But isn't there that saying about humankind will always do two things with a new discovery? Try to eat it. And try to fuck it. Yeah, like that, yes. That's like a legit. It's I don't want to say not proven wrong. thing, yeah, but yeah. it is like a given history. Like. Yeah, but I mean, it does kind of feel like the movie builds toward a moment. But like the what whole if thing, we could fuck it? Yeah, yeah, because I was sitting there going I feel like, like that phrase needs to be like revamped a little bit. Not humankind, man. Yeah, mankind. There's a big difference here. <laughs> yes. Big difference. Yes. Just saying. We will fuck anything. 
in Fuck this movie. Literally. If there was an alien on the moon when we did it. <laughs> yes. Because if, if there was a, does it if look there at was you a with vaginal bedroom shaped eyes? hole, there would be a dollar <laughs> take. Bedroom eyes. Are yeah. the bedroom eyes separated by a few more inches than normal? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe. There's a lot going on in this. Mm-hmm. A lot. Um, okay, but, but the, the setup seemed fairly conventional for a mad scientist, a contemporary right. mad scientist movie, right? I'm sorry, a contemporary emo. Yes. Oh. Scientist. Yes. Oh. Oh. Um, this is a subgenre, a new subgenre of emo science. Emo, emo science. science. My God, the yeah. band t-shirts, the, 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 the side swept We need bangs. a blood sample. Hold on, I'll cut myself. Yeah, <laughs> the patches on the lab coat. Yeah, he uh, can't yeah. let it go. It's who he is, Holly. Yeah. This is I who know. He is. The plaid pants and vest no, told me everything. With, the, you yeah. know, when you, when you uh, grow up with My Chemical romance and just that haircut i yeah i saw too much of myself in this movie yeah, at the time, I, understand. But the, I understand why you brought this the i see pictures jacket. of you younger yeah. like when you went and got your haircut did you just take a picture of adrian no. Brody with you? <laughs> no this movie uh wasn't out yet i got my haircut like before this movie came, slightly before this movie came and, out because um, it did come and out died at the edges if i remember yeah, right mm-hmm. or you let it grow out after it got died yeah it, but he at one point wears like a tuxedo vest over a t-shirt to yeah. go to work in the lab oh, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. with Plaid pants and compact pants. Yeah, yeah. Pla- I would say plaid. Uh, he was in pajamas. Those were pajama yeah. pants <laughs> no, no, and, and, and compact pants. He had bell bottoms. Yeah, it was like so. matching. The the yeah, time. when he's so uh, earlier he in the had movie, the jacket. he's wearing yeah. like plaid yeah. pants. Okay, yeah. Yes, yeah. but then he does end up in plaid yeah. pajama pants. Pajamas. And she has like. Which I understand. It's fine. She has like those knee length dusters with like she fasteners does. all over yeah. them and like loops on them and stuff like yeah. trip brand stuff. From yeah, if we can put belt buckles on everything, let's do it. What this is, see, like I always. Uh, movies seem to, especially horror movies, have a very dim view of, of scientists. Scientists <laughs> are not to be trusted. Scientists no. are mentally unstable. Mm-hmm. See, I always like the 50 scientists, right? They come in in the lab coat and they're like, well, see what you have here. Is this and that? And they explain it to you and yeah. they're like, yes, of course, doc. And of we course, understand if it. we poke it, ah! And then yep. the scientist is dead for the rest of the movie. <laughs> yeah, but not anymore. Now scientists are uh, not to be trusted the because they're off uh, doing unethical experiments in barns and uh, mm-hmm. other mm, and disgusting, uh, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. uh, locations, mm-hmm. unsanitary. Yeah, why is it always a barn? I know it's you got big space and just, but it's not sanitary for a scientific experiment. It's not. I don't think you have an electrical base. To ju- it just doesn't seem like a great place well, to they're, do science. They're scientists. They can come up with an electrical. Uh, like they sure. can do it. They're sure. fine. But they're always on the verge of like something going wrong in a park. Well, yeah. <laughs> Why couldn't they just take her back to their house? I, feel, I know we're getting really ahead of ourselves here, but like, <laughs> right, right. why did it have to be an abandoned house? Right. Well, there was a line of dialogue. No one knows we're here. Uh, someone might see her there, even though you're out in no. an abandoned no. farmhouse. Yep. Mm-hmm. Like, how many visitors do you have? Yeah. In yeah. This place. Okay. Okay. All right. So Anyways, you shouldn't be. How do we get Are you having the- dinners? <laughs> It gets even worse. So we're going to oh, get into this. No, like, we're not. <laughs> tip of the iceberg. <laughs> yep. Um, okay. So who are Adrian Brody and Sarah Polly in this movie? Emo the, scientists that are trying to synthesize a, a protein. They're a couple. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They work for this development research lab. So they're trying to create an organism that will eventually they can synthesize to create something that will help humankind. Mm-hmm. And they say that it's, it's, it's like, like a super stem cell. Yes. But, yeah. Yes. They said a super stem cell that cancer. creates a living organism, mm-hmm. basically. We'll so they create this that. living organism in a Petri dish. Looks and like a burrito, a right? Birthing Alan? scene. It yeah. does look like a burrito. A well, like, it looks like a yeah. burrito, A burrito, but it also looks like a dick. It, it yeah. has like oh, a penis looks head like a on it. Everything looks like a dick. Yeah. Everything's very phallic. It has a penis head that uh ejects emits um uh, this like ejaculates it's like a is, tongue it's like a, a oh. tongue flower yeah, uh, yeah it's definitely it's a, like tongue like a tongue flower, tongue flower. Yeah. and they, like, it. they tongue imprint flower. on each other with their tongue flowers there's more than Which one I, of them because there's fred and ginger <laughs> they, they created a male and a female and tongue flower i talk. can't be a part of this conversation <laughs> <laughs> but okay i did find flower. it kind of cute that they were in like a hamster cage like the water bottle set up like i was expecting them to have like a wheel and everything i was like but the way it kind of like poked out behind the the wall at the other one. I was like, they are now, like hamsters. Now all I want is a scene where they have a hamster wheel, but they're like just, just spinning, spinning just, on it. Yeah. But they just like plop down, plop down spin, yep. plop, yeah. spin, plop, spin, <laughs> plop. But it, but really love it. Yeah, it looked like the uh, again the impression I had was it was like kind of the CG version of the maggot baby from the end of the fly. Yeah, when they first because it's first introduced as it is. 
it birthed from something, but Sarah Polly is just like, oh, it's so cute. And then they reveal what it looks like, and it is the maggot baby from the fly. I'm just like, you are crazy. We already know that her viewpoint on things is altered if she thinks this thing is adorable. Okay. Again, maybe- it's been her experiment for probably who knows how many how many years, but let's be honest. It's an so ugly where, where is like her headspace in this movie? Because I guess that's a thing that you kind of take away from it. Like over the course of the movie, is she like nut, just flat out nuts? Well, yeah, that's what they establish. <clears throat> I think so. Um, well, it's a running theme in the movie that she, uh, her mother was nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that she's, um, have, she has serious mom issues. Definitely. Apparently her Mom's mother yep. kept Probably, her yeah. in a, uh, a, a undecorated room in a house with a bucket to pee in yeah. and a, a ma- and soiled mattress on the floor. On the floor. Yeah. We find this out like halfway through the movie yep. where they go to the said abandoned, yeah. you know, because I'm like, who's who's going to come and see the monster this here? Will help. Yep. No one goes to this house. This is her mom's house. It's been abandoned for the farm mm-hmm. for years. So she has escaped this, right, mm-hmm. Sarah Polly, and graduated and become a scientist, and now mm-hmm. she's working on trying to birth uh, an experiment, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Also, let's raise this experiment in a, in a place where uh, trauma is just flowering all over the place. Well, not at the these characters, <clears throat> not initially. For That's her. where they're going to well, move. I mean, she's going to move too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So initially, they're in the lab. It's kind mm-hmm. of a controlled experiment. They make these two gelatinous blob things with the penis heads and the <laughs> tongue flowers. Oh. <Yeah. clears throat> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's and uh, saying it back to back. Yep. <laughs> I can't. And uh, this. Tongue uh, flowers and penis heads? Yeah. yeah. But they are provoked by the desire to conquer the scientific world by uh, injecting whatever this thing, the protein or whatever that they've. Or they're trying to synthesize the protein. So they've yes. come up with these chemical compounds and they're going to infuse them with human DNA Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in order to see what happens. Just because right? why not? Yeah. And this is another thing about scientists. Well, they in think they'll movies. be able to get to the protein faster. Right. I guess. Yeah. yeah. But she. But the way she says it is like, what's the worst that could happen is her philosophy about everything, mm-hmm. which as a scientist is probably that's, not a great. That's philosophy not a great. Yet. Curiosity yeah. is good. No, no, yeah. but curiosity is good. But what the, yeah. what's the worst that can happen is like <laughs> that's why you're a scientist. <laughs> yeah. To figure out yeah. That specific question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? And let's not do exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Your yeah. your idea is to hypothesize on that and right. Test Many appropriately. Years of research <laughs> yeah. should have answered this question yeah. before you got mm-hmm. to there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You should know the probability. Yeah, mm-hmm. and there's, you should. Yeah, science. Yeah, scientific percentages mm-hmm. and. Uh, but that, that's another thing about horror movies and their view of scientists is they always they have an ego that's out of control. They yeah. just want right. to play yeah, God. That, yeah, you know? like, that, that is, is their uh, downfall. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. goes back to Frankenstein. Yeah. Yeah. we created right life. What can else can we do? Yeah, they didn't. Then they were so interested in finding out if they could that they didn't. Yeah. Didn't stop to stop think, think if they, they should. should. And, no um, one, and none of them ever do. <laughs> so in this one, they forge directly ahead. Now, there's a key moment that you may miss when you first go through this movie where oh. they are injecting uh, uh, donor DNA. Mm-hmm. And uh, and Adrian Brody asks her, like, okay, who's the donor? And he's like, and she's like, well, it's uh, some woman. It's who's Jane both. Doe. Yep. Okay, I missed non anonymous miss that. anonymous woman in her thirties or she yeah. say something like that. Yeah. yeah, and he's like, oh, that could be anybody. Yep, Ex- and away we go, and we're anybody. injecting uh-huh. the DNA. Well, the only reason it, it stood out, you know, is like they were blowing through that montage, but stopped for that exchange. Yeah. So you're yeah. like, oh, you mean the oh, rock and roll science montage? <laughs> <laughs> rock and roll science mon- and sometimes jazz. Yeah. Like. yeah. I love rock and roll science. Yeah. <laughs> they make it look cool. Mm-hmm. They're like they flying do. around it's in their the chairs to rock music, mm-hmm. trying to. And I love that this operating it's the basis system. for every uh, CSI show ever. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. I love that their computer operating system just has a pop up when it's done that says DNA splice failed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it's very nice. It says, they programmed to be very basic. It looks like, like a Windows. I only, I, right. Yeah. I only want the need to know error. information. Yeah. Yeah. Did my human animal hybrid succeed? Yeah. No. And it literally has like a red X and yeah. then like yeah. a green check. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's literally the same error message I get when my discrep reports don't run at work. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's yes. the same. Yes. Well, you say that they're cool scientists. They work at nerd. At nerd. 
Okay, this I is hate, too much. <laughs> I hate, no, I hate. Oh. It's so, but that's such a nerd thing to do. It's just yeah. like, oh, we'll call it nerd, and then they won't make fun of us anymore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, yes, we will. Yeah, it's an we'll anagram for something, but I can't. We'll reclaim not, yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Off, their, off their of fake it. digital sign that they had up yeah, front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so in secret, they get to working on this experiment. They do impregnate the, uh, the, the cell or something. There's a, 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 a the blob, the blob. Well, yeah, I mean, but it starts the at the micro, uh, you know, uh, the cellular level and they yeah. inject it. Yeah. And the embryo. Like, here we go. Now. So those, yeah. there's ethical problems or questions being made. Everybody's in creating taking, life. Yes. So Adrian Brody's stance is... But they don't know what life they're creating. Is there a difference if it ends up being a more humanoid life than versus yes. what they think it's going to be? Well, yes. But what they think it's going to be as... Uh, uh, I don't know what they think it's going to be. But What, the, what but kind of life form do they expect it to be in creating this? It doesn't matter because the issue is she's using human DNA and they're not supposed to do that right. at all. Yeah, like, a, at yeah. all. Yeah. So that's why that's everybody's problem, saying, like, you yeah. can't do this, you can't, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But what they're doing... So they're splicing a bunch of different animals and plants and uh, mm-hmm. other stuff together mm-hmm. with human DNA to create this thing for study, they do, you know, she's like, but we're, nobody will know about it except for you and me. Right. Mm-hmm. And Aren't we just, even though we're doing it at work. Yep. And yeah. we are going to kill it before it comes to term. We just need to find out if the graft, the, the splicing actually works. Right. right? Mm-hmm. And so of course it goes way beyond that, way beyond that because yeah. the thing matures in about six hours. Yep. <laughs> yep. While they're yeah. at home. And it's like, bam, we got to get mm-hmm. uh, back to the lab because mm-hmm. the thing is going to be birthed in a big, uh, you know, like a delivery sequence that takes place in a, a like a fish tank. It's like, I thought this was going to be the grossest part of the movie. Oh, it is just getting <laughs> oh. started. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> well, because he like, he like uses the scalpel and then it's dirty and he puts it in his mouth. Yep. And I was uh. like, this is the grossest part of the movie, right? Right? Like, this is even so a thing gross. Said, like, ugh. well, and she has to like manually birth it yeah. by like reaching she her does. arm in this like placenta in yeah. the in the tub, and it bites down on her. Yeah, it, it goes, does. Kind of, it on feels her. like it tries to suck nutrients from yeah. her. Yes. Yeah, it, and she can't get her arm out until he breaks the tank open and then cuts the. Sack. I see. This is this is a sign that you should probably abort the experiment. Yeah, like yeah. right here when yeah. it's attaching grabber fish hooks yes. to your arm. Um, like, and, um, Numi Rapace, the religious scientist in Prometheus, turned her stance on abortion immediately when it Real affected quick. her. Yes. Real quick. Yeah. Hard pass. Yeah. Like, she was oh, like, oh no, pass. it's a whale. Yeah. Kill it. Yeah. Kill it. <laughs> Well, they are going to take like different stances throughout the movie on whether or not the experiment should proceed, right? Because Sarah Polly was all about like we're going to kill it like right away. Adrian Brody's like you shouldn't do this, and then yeah, we had a real flip at the beginning of this movie, which was interesting to see. the 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 I I would say the typical character roles reversed. I would think with what would normally be like pregnancy, the woman would want to be like uh, an abortion. The man would be like, well, why and all that, and it kind of got flipped in this. Because he's in the, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the thing, HB 5269, sure. is, uh, comes out. And it's a little, uh, like, squiddy thing. Again, it looks like a, uh, uh, it looks like the fly, like, larva. Yeah, it does. And, but eventually, something comes out of it. And of course, these things it's flutter empty, around. She like she says, as she flips it around mm-hmm. when she's looking. Uh. It's like that scene from Aliens, right? Where they actually do set that scene up, which is kind of weird. You know, the face hugger scene from mm-hmm. Aliens with uh, in Sigourney Weaver mm-hmm. stuck in the glass room. Like yes. they do that exact thing. She's in there, and I'm like, there's yeah. gonna be a face hugger's gonna yeah. swing mm-hmm. down and attach mm-hmm. to her face, but no, she decides to make friends with the little devil. It imprints every yeah, every scientist. Mm-hmm. When come upon a new organism or what have you, it's just like, I must expose every piece of skin I have right. <laughs> to this new yeah. organism yeah. to see if it will accept me. Well, and like on the alien tip with that, like Alien Covenant, they explore that new planet, no helmets on. No, they're just, just like, oh no. Who no, cares? Yeah. Oh, no, it's breathable like air. Right. Yeah. Oh, that makes it great. <laughs> that might, that's not the only problem. <laughs> the air is not the only problem. Like that was oh. our first, that wasn't our first clue, but that was definitely a huge red flag that she's crazy. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, so she kind of sees the thing as a, a pet. It looks like a little 
chicken. It it walks like a chicken. Yeah, it, it looks like it walks like a chicken and it talks <laughs> yes. like a chicken. Yeah. It, it talks like saying. a squirrel. It talks, yeah, it talks like a squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, yeah. it is like it a does. naked chicken with a tail, but it has like a very round what does this head it's look a, like? It's kind of cat-like, like a, pea. a you know, little like, cat-like. You know, like cartoons when like the chicken cooks, but yes. it's still alive. Yes, and like all the uh-huh. feathers That's what are plucked. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yep, it does. Uh, it does look like a yep. cartoon chicken, and yep. but it chitters like a squirrel. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. all this seems like like I know Guillermo del Toro was the producer on it. Joel Silver also yes. was somehow mm-hmm. executive producer on it, mm-hmm. but um, mm. this seems. Like up his alley, like oh yeah, I was like, this has this guy cannot help but fuck monsters either. I'm sorry, right? Del Toro right. has Come a thing on, with dude. fucking monsters in movies. Now he didn't write like, this suggestion. What if you fucked by third? But act? yeah, we don't know that he was like so vigilant. If you thought about maybe, <laughs> did he give him the idea? See, yeah, like, we should team up on he something. Yeah. Did. You know, I've been working on this idea about scientists creating a like Frankenstein. Does it ever fuck it? Yeah. Except his first the question. Scient- oh fuck, he is working on a Frankenstein movie for Netflix. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's yeah. been working yeah. on that for. Yeah. Yep. Is his monster gonna fuck somebody? He's okay. Mad that poor things came out. And I, was stole like, his thunder. I was like, we did. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> ah, Guillermo, he might want to seek some therapy. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and again, I don't no, know if he, if, he, if he came up. Uh, with it's the, it's a very strange coincidence to happen twice. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's a bit monkey. Yeah. <laughs> so the uh, little creature eventually uh, wandering around like a little chicken, mm-hmm. uh, eventually matures into like, into a dress wearing at like chicken. an accelerated rate like what yeah. she says it's like days and minutes or something like that right yeah at yeah. the beginning but yeah it, and this is like a child actress with like prosthetics on but also like digitally enhanced digital. as well mm-hmm. but like oh this child actor yeah. is really unsettled i mean great job child actor yeah. it, i'm disturbed right like, I, I, i'm more unsettled job. it feels like more unsettled by the prosthetics or the digital that is yeah uh, but also like the dress, the dress? Yes, yeah the dress the dress, the dress is, is like, really alarming. like we're really gender affirming this kid right now and it just it, it's so like if it's an experiment it should be wearing scrubs yeah yeah like, and like how a do collar you, like, you're like already, it should be yeah. you're telling this this creation they're treating it like a child. They're yeah, you're telling it how yeah. you feel about it. You're telling you're almost telling it how to feel in a certain way. It's, you're projecting it's yeah, like you're projecting a lot human onto norms onto yes. a thing that okay. has no concept of right. it. Maybe shouldn't that? be. We'll find right? out. Because, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. this is the thing. We constantly see her like going through her um like little chest like, of her, her, her like <laughs> dust yeah. bowl toys her yeah. nostalgia <laughs> suitcase yeah. 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 She from like, the 1950s she like gets up in the middle of the night and is going through her little like ballerina box for, yeah. with like a crown and a barbie and nobody and a photo th- of her and her mom yeah, yeah. 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 but she's, grown women she's do not, not do this right but like clearly no, this grown is women have memories and you just do it from the comfort <laughs> yeah. of your bed if I, and if be like, I oh can't, I remember that if I can't sleep I'm reading a book or watching a TV or, right. yeah. I'm not going to delve. Cereal. Oh, I'm thinking about this yeah. thing. I'm not going to go delve into the trauma but, that I'm. Uh, well, that's the symbolism, though, is that yeah. she had to keep these things secret from her mom because she said her mom didn't allow Barbie. Yeah. She didn't yeah. allow her to wear makeup. So, like, she never grew out of that. Like, she, I she doesn't have to hide it, but she still feels like she has mm-hmm. to because that is her mm-hmm. trauma. And she doesn't want to have a natural child. They also yeah. hiding her, that, she's literally hiding her trauma. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. mm-hmm. yeah. Adrian Brody broaches the like, well, one day we'll have, and she's like, ah, you know, not really right. Which is the it. which is complete flip because Adrian Brody wants a, a apparently wants a child. Mm-hmm. Sarah Pauline does not. But then, then suddenly here up, she mm-hmm. becomes really all maternal reversed, yeah. with the yeah. the creation, even mm-hmm. though it's a non human like mm-hmm. chicken. Yeah. Greasy chicken thing with a tail that has a, <laughs> a, a stinger, stinger in it. it. Oh my god! Them putting the like <laughs> tape ball on it, so it, it like it just reminds me of like you know when kids have to wear like bumper helmets and stuff. That's what it reminded me of. I was <laughs> like, oh, we don't oh, want like, you to stab anybody. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. keep that wrapped up. Yeah. I really wish it would have been a, like a tennis ball or a ping pong. Oh my god, that, that would have been, been hilarious. That would have been good. <laughs> yeah. Tennis ball would have been good. Yeah. Really yes, funny. I agree with that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, how does um? So then there's um. Because they're, they're keeping this a secret from the the from the rest of the lab, but also company. in the lab, yeah. which yeah. I don't feel based on how not I, how I think every lab would have cameras in every single room ever. Yeah, I don't nobody think goes in the storage room, Sean. Oh no! Well, and if uh. if the government of any kind is funding your project, yeah, they're, they're up your ass all they the time. Are, they will yeah, know everything yeah. you have, everything you yeah, take from every room. For certain yes. doors, yeah, you have to sign cards. Out and, yeah. Yep. The, no, 
the one time I worked on a very boring government project, I couldn't be connected to the internet on my laptop yeah, while yeah. I was working yeah, on it. Like exactly. the government <laughs> the, does not. Yeah, they don't fuck around. Like, well, this no, isn't a government yeah, project, though, right? This is just it's a pharmaceutical company or something, right? It's yeah, a, there's no somebody's. direct connection, but yeah, but yeah. still, you would yeah, think yeah, that they also it. would have some kind of you know safeguards. Yeah. I mean, we don't want lab leaks or anything to happen. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. so there uh, it might lead to a pandemic. For, yep, like um, many, especially years. if you're working with the uh, with bird dna or whatever they have going on here yeah the whatever is in this so they're working in the in the basement and adrian brody's uh brother, brother also works who's also emo that's how we know where they're yeah. related emo. yes because they, they have the same emo haircut yeah, yeah. yes this and he wears that black and gray striped sweater that he every does. guy had in 2009 so, it's so, oh. <laughs> i was like i dated oh, a few people with that sweater to every music video from the 2000s <laughs> We're saying that Sarah Polly is like uh, pathological in some in some way, right? They make right. her very hateable on this but movie. Yeah. Let's talk about Adrian Brody then, right? Uh, yeah. Like so, because he's clearly culpable in a lot of this uh, stuff. He's, <laughs> he might be worse. <laughs> oh, definitely. But yeah, I think he's worse. Yeah. Worse by the end of it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I guess yeah. they don't establish his. I, I. It's like you come off thinking that, like, well, she's crazy, mm-hmm. right? Or do you? I don't know if I did the first time. Like the first time I saw it, I, uh, well, that I mean, scene of the, you know, her getting up in the middle point, of the night. We thought she was crazy. Like, I yeah. Well, it was. It was certainly label her crazy until we got to a certain that point. moment when when she looked in the little uh, memory chest. Mm-hmm. You got the ladies here reacted mm-hmm. like you know if you are doing this in the middle of the night like women don't do this. Oh yeah. no, she's crazy. Yeah. Like they were like, bam. Yeah. Yep. yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. I mean, but just as an aesthetic Shocking. choice, <laughs> as, 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 to what, as to what it looked like, because it really looked like something from the 1950s, and and just like this is 2009, she would have grown up when because, and, because she literally just found toys and that's what she had to play with. Yeah. So she found a she probably found it like on the farm somewhere, oh, right? Oh. And that was her only toy. Mm-hmm. Like, did this Adrian. come across enough? What to to the fact that the way she grew up did that come across enough? Maybe they mentioned it, didn't it a lot. I mean, there was a lot times. of that yeah. in there on this viewing. Yeah, yeah there, were, it gets brought up out of nowhere. It does, a lot. Yeah, a lot of non sequiturs. Like about she it, never yeah. really goes like you know when I was younger, my mom. Well, she does. Right? She does. So she does yeah. have those. Yeah. Uh, eventually. Adrian Brody's pointing out that like, well, in your family history, you know, mm-hmm. take a look at that, you mm-hmm. know, like, but my, one of my favorite parts of this movie, which is few, uh, um, yeah, please. is when, um, Oh, did we say that they that they named her Nerd Backwards? Yeah. Did we Dren. say that? Okay. Was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. But that's not my favorite part. Dren. That's not my favorite Dren. part. Dren. I my, hate. My favorite part hate. is when Dren gets sick with a fever and Adrian Brody tries to drown her. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> this is great. How did you know? <laughs> but then, <laughs> Sarah oh my god! But it actually saves her okay, life maybe, because maybe she can breathe it. underwater. And Sarah Polly's like, "How did you know?" I know. <laughs> no, he was face. murdering your child. <laughs> it's not her child. What? Well, but she thinks it's, it's her. her child. Okay, but the no, best at this point, her, it's her. It's, yeah, it's the offspring just, of no. Her, this moment is her intellect. Crazy. It is crazy. So it's great. Crazy I to, love this. To, to well, evoke this in the narrative of this movie. <laughs> How did you know? No, he was murdering this yeah, child because he was. Done. You saw it in the movie. He snapped. Yeah. yeah. He murdered this. He child. realized yeah. that How this has gone know? too far. Oh, I was trying to end the experiment. But the crazy best. that they continue on it from this the, point. The yeah. favorite. There's part. never any like. She crazy. never really kind of comes back on him but that's for what's, that. But the yeah. crazy is that Holly, when we watch this, Holly literally said after he drowned her, wow, there's no coming back from that. And then a second later, <laughs> she comes back to life and, then and we their come relationship back is fine. <laughs> and we do come back from it. And How that looks so know? crazy. Is the whiplash in that scene yeah. is just... It's so hard. Yeah, it's it's, so hard. So many is, broken necks. Yeah. Hands down, my favorite part of this movie. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe that's that's Adrian Brody's character's like big failing. Then it's like he he has a line that yeah. keeps being slid back. Yeah. Like oh, he yeah. cannot yeah. dig in. It just keeps on sliding, and that you know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Whew, 
Oof. But the look on his face when he clocks that she didn't realize he was killing her, yeah. he's like, oh, yeah, I t- totally meant to. Yeah. I knew exactly what I was doing. Because she's got right. fucking and they, but And they do, yeah. right. And, the they, extra, and they set it up, and they set it up earlier. Yeah. yeah. For this, he's like, what? Well, no, those are the lungs. What are these? Yeah. It's like, oh, they're amphibious lungs. Nothing we would have been able to figure out <laughs> yeah. as an audience beforehand. Yeah. That's why we have said later. I don't think he and he didn't even realize that he no, was. Like, he no, was just like uh, lucky. they were he's in lucky. Yeah. 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 He's lucky. Yeah. But you oh. think part of him was also like, fuck, how did you know? Fuck, I didn't oh, kill yeah. it. God damn it. Like, yeah. I don't know how to read it because I he didn't he doesn't play it that way. No. It's like he I guess in the moment Oh, she's still alive, and he's like. Then he feels guilt, maybe, mm-hmm. and so then he oh, overcompensates. Yeah, it's really oh, yeah, guilt, yeah. guilt. Okay. I imagine um when you try to strangle someone and they don't die, it gets very awkward oh. after that. Right, but only but only if they don't realize what happened. Yeah. It's like coming out of a gun. It's like, oh, yeah. I know I passed out. But what happened? I know we, uh, we we tried to save you. You You're were fine. choking. To yeah. me, yeah. Choking. <laughs> to me, there feels like a weird swerve in this movie, though. That like she doesn't remember that and it's doesn't weird. hold that against yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. But she's yeah. a child at this point. So no, if they're no, probably no. you're saying. Oh, no, yes, the child. Drenn. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Saying, I'm surprised Drent, oh, but like. Right. She's a child, she's but right. still, no, yeah. Because I thought that was going to be yeah, a thing. Yeah, because like, she's a child. And and she like, seems to have... You know, no, she has like a photographic yeah. memory, Everything. too. Yeah. No, yeah. But, her, no, especially but, her. Yeah. No, but later on, when she's like an adult, I don't remember shit from when I was five. I don't remember that. Yeah, but yeah. she's different because she's she can different. she can write uh, tedious yeah, out of Scrabble tedious. letters. I mean, that's she advanced. Has, right. she gets the next one should have been, he tried to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> like, that should have been the next yeah. Scrabble okay. piece. Because she has motives and she's part animal. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So she eventually grows up. Uh, is there anything else that happened significantly while she well, was a uh, young child? Yeah. Well, yeah, I she, mean, yeah. well, okay. Yeah, because they've, like, made the storage room a nice little, like, cozy room for her. And um, they fuck outside of her, like, bedroom. Uh, which is a sheet hanging a in sheet. a room. Yeah, this is like okay. Yeah, I'm not a parent. The Nosferatu, like uh, she watches. You guys so doing? I, like, I'm it's not so a parent, creepy. so whatever. Take this shit with a grain of salt. But like, you're not what? Wait, I, I I'm not her. a parent. Okay. But like, I feel like doing anything sexual, like in that proximity to your child, is borderline criminal. The like, whole, the definitely whole, inappropriate. The whole, the whole thing about being a parent is that oh, they're asleep and they're not anywhere near us we should try and have sex yeah. yeah we will lock the door we'll do everything right. we can it, to yes. stop the child from from finding this out to have sex exactly. that is the whole point of parents yeah. having sex is right. to, for the child not to find out it, right and that they make no effort no effort. they're they're yeah. in a couch like, the couch is sh- facing sh- her bed I think yes. maybe in front see, of this this is what i was also trying to to, to grab was Go adrian grab brody aware she was there because he made eye contact with it her. It looks like he's making eye contact. Yeah. I wasn't he, sure in the oh, edit, though. Oh, it looks like he, he came, knows she's came there. Because she was there. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay. That, okay. So that yes. did happen. She came looking yes. at her. There's a lot of stuff to uh, kind <laughs> I'm of sorry, Holly. establish. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, he did. He yeah. did. She's not wrong. That's right. it. So he likes it let, a little let weird. That make you feel I, how you feel. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. and there's there's the idea that the movie is planting that there is an attraction between him and the. They do a mating dance, literally. Yes. Uh, <laughs> like so, they dance. Like she took that as like a sexual. Yes. Uh, oh, you're teaching me new things and opening my horizons. Mm-hmm. Especially because she makes drawings of. This is when she matures into like the teenage version, yeah. right? Yeah. Which they cannot. Uh, oh, after the 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 child version has tried to attack and kill Adrian Brody's brother. Yes. Right. So yeah. now he's in on it. He knows yeah. that this thing right. exists. Yeah. Which that also didn't go where I expected it to because no. he was just like, okay, I'll keep this quiet. Like, there's an alien thing running around with a stinger on it, it that tried right, to. This has got to be one of the most. Crazy scientific um, uh, ex- experiments slash results that you could possibly come across, and this guy's just going to keep it quiet. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, and not nuts. even that. It's like his brother has been a part of something completely unethical and horrifying. There's also that. Yeah, there is. They do have a conversation, at least for the lip service on that. I disagree yeah. with what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think yep. it, at some point that's again, the level of dialogue. You have movie. to yeah. go further than yeah, that. Yeah, we cut to that. Yeah, <laughs> like a normal person would be like, "All right, I'm quitting my job. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. I can't be a part of this. Yeah, or at least like I'm going to tell someone. I have to tell someone that you're doing something. This. Mm-hmm. Somebody needs to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
because this is uh, dangerous. I mean, just on the face of it, they eventually take the take Dren mm -hmm. right to the farmhouse, mm -hmm. and, and I the, think they don't take her to their apartment because they live in an apartment. They yeah. don't want her to get out and like hurt anyone in the apartment building. Yeah, we gotta she keep does this out. And get the, difficult to contain. So, well, yes. that's yeah. the first thing I had. So that's what I was gonna go yeah. to. Like as they're taking her to the door to put her in, she runs away, yeah. and like so now you have this thing, this new species, like out in the wild. <laughs> You know, just doing whatever out there, and you don't know what eating a rabbit, yeah, yeah killing yeah. eating yeah. rabbits. That was yeah. an accident. That's very it's cute. Mm -hmm. Come on, it, <sighs> the squirrel chitters just really make everything it's that much worse. That I really thought really that creepy. this thing was going to be able to speak at some point. Yeah, like, I thought that was where we were going. It did. I thought there were yeah. <laughs> 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 one line. It has one uh, line. Yeah. What was the, I forgot. We'll inside, get, all right, we'll get there. But yeah. no, the flip of outside. All right, more so. Before we got to what we got to, like I thought the evolution would go. Yeah. Once we got to a certain point, I thought it would go faster. We ended up stopping at a certain evolution point, which mm -hmm. made it really where she can spell, but she can't speak. Right. But all, and, and the um, vocal uh, thing she did was uh, very weird and very mm -hmm. squirrely, very mm -hmm. squirrely, very awkward mm -hmm. when it came to the interaction, especially shrieking, with Adrian Brody. Like shrieking. The visual yeah. effects are very impressive. They do like they this up. digital thing on her face to make her eyes uh, significantly wider mm -hmm. apart. Yeah. Uh, we looked at uh, 30 Days of Night also did this mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah, I think uh, maybe it looks like, better here. Yeah, this is it's pretty good. No, and it's, the effects look, look good. really good for being 15 years old. Like, yeah, I mean, they map that yeah. it holds mm -hmm. the map to mm -hmm. her face or whatever yeah. the tracking yeah. uh, to give her. Who's the actress? who Delphine uh, Cheniac, French actress. And she's also been in not much else. Is she a model or is she an actress? Um, or like, she... She's been yeah. a lot of French movies. OK, because this movie is a Canadian French production. So, right. mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just need a model with a, see what she's a unique features. face. She looks pr not unlike Dren with hair and eyes closer okay. together. They Otherwise, just, her face is pretty much that. Yeah. Just went yeah. And separated her separated face. Her eyes, was, yeah. No, one I, I think I mentioned this last week. I'm saying, oh, didn't a famous actress play this? I think I was thinking of didn't Anya Taylor Joy play something of a similar sort? In a movie where she was an experiment, she wore a hoodie and oh, that was like Megan. No, it was uh, not Megan. It was uh, uh, whatever you're thinking of. It was. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what this is. She got uh, Jennifer Jason Lee. She was grown in a lab, and then she yeah, got yeah, loose. Yeah. yeah, this movie, Morgan. Where, Morgan, that's or, it. Very yeah. good. Yeah, uh, this is Morgan. a 20th Century Fox movie. That yeah, yeah. yeah. Came out. That's um, what I was thinking of. That's right. This is, uh, but that one didn't go anywhere near where this one goes. No, but it's just similar now that you're mentioning it. I'm like, oh, it's like the basically yeah. the same movie. They yeah, grow yeah. this, uh, you know, new person. Yes. Um, so they bring her to the, they put her in a barn. In the barn. She where, gets where, a where cat. We, we, do, we do realize she breathes in water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's which, a well. Which aside from having the well, doesn't really. Doesn't really affect the rest of the movie. No. If I'm wrong. Plot wise. If, yeah. Plot wise. It's not no. a big thing. No, it's just established she's got fish mm, DNA in her. Right? Third act. Uh, the end. Yeah, yeah, I, I, suppose, kind of, right? it was more, I think it was more so for this scene where he drowns her and that he doesn't kill her. Yeah. And right, that it right. became in a, a thing. But yeah, then they end up using sure. it later. They use um, it later, yeah. She has, in addition to a tail with a spike in it, mm -hmm. um, yes. she also, but she goes at some I point. I want to make Michaela talk about cat death. Just because I've had to talk about it. So oh, yeah, she gets a like cat. Um, and p this is where the parenting stuff comes in. She d We talked about is, the other there, week. There is child slapping in this movie. There is. <laughs> I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about, we talked about, I think last week or the week before, there's like the, the triad of like psychoth psychopathy, right? Which is yeah, arson, we about that, yeah. arson, animal killing, and bedwetting. Yes. And, oh boy, she's working these up real quick because she <laughs> yeah. kills this cat because she feels like it. She doesn't yeah. really have a good reason. It, at this point, it really yeah. is because she's, she wants to send a message. It's a teenage acting out. It's yeah. Yeah, yes. she's mad at her mom. Well, yep. she was mad because I think the mom brought her a pet. She saw herself as a pet, yes. right? And so she's like, there, fuck yeah, that. There is the whole pet and so talk. she kills yeah. it. And yes. then she like is going to like kill Sarah Polly. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank God Adrian Brody uh, shows up and beans her on the back of the head. Was that the one where he beaned her on the back of the head? Everybody's beaning everybody on the back of the head. She with, gets like, yeah, a she shovel gets at a some lot. point. Well, okay. And 
I'm sorry, traumatic head injuries are not going to help this creature's no. case. Don't give it a TBI. Like, this is not, no, not the way to go. Not. She's going to have CTE on top of whatever genetic problem she has. A weird dynamic uh, forms at the, the barn because uh, Sarah Polly is kind of, she's being like mom. Yep. Right. Uh-huh. She and is taking out all the things point. she should be saying to a therapist on this child. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, and Adrian therapy. Brody is doing the like, what are you doing that to her for? Like, come on, she doesn't like that. You know, maybe she likes this. And so he becomes it's like good cop, kind bad of cop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the switch from beginning. And so after she kills the cat and almost kills Sarah Pauly, Sarah Pauly makes a unilateral decision to cut her stinger off. Yeah, she becomes very mm-hmm. like this. Is she after, goes cold. Yeah, sudden, she does, like, and this is after a very, uh, um, it's supposed to be a very intimate moment where she says, "You know, I love you." Like we're at the moment where she's treating her most like a daughter, and that she wants this thing to know that she loves her, and she feels like a daughter to her. Right after this moment, she becomes she. It, it is a a very crazy turn in which she turns scientific and decides, "I will cut you up." Well, we were talking about how she, like, she makes this decision without Clive at all. Like, he's not even home when she makes the decision to cut the stinger off the tail. Mm-hmm. Well, so she, she's totally just taking this whole thing. It's be, it's not it's not about science anymore, Colin. Yeah, was it ever about just, science? No, this is personal. No, that's my point. favorite yeah, line from this movie. <laughs> well, that's yeah. the moment where yeah. she's like, yeah. I uh, I don't I no longer see a Dren as like a child. Mm-hmm. Right now, she's like, oh. It's an experiment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the experiment just tried to kill me. Although th- there's a cruelty to like yes. her, like, oh, I'm going to cut this thing yeah. off. Especially she's right after the moment. Because we she just has had. mom trauma and she's it's, inflicting it. It's the moment it. that she starts becoming her mother. Yeah. She's, uh, uh, you don't uh, deal with uh, this uh, shit, you'll uh, become uh, it. You got to Yeah. yeah. That's why she needs to go to therapy so she doesn't infl- continue the cycle mm-hmm. of abuse. Yeah. Uh, that's why I will cut you up. Mm-hmm. So. This is the first of like the, so this is, so this is a scene that's paralleled later, but Mm -hmm. so she cuts the tail, the stinger off of Dren and Adrian Brody walks in and goes, Oh my God, what are you doing? (laughs) They, so they both walk in the middle of, Oh my God, what are you doing? His is so much worse. (laughs) So, um, yeah, his yeah, stinger course. his stinger didn't get cut off. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, she like You're ends right. up she goes back to the lab and she starts working cuz there's pressure from the pharmaceutical company she, that right, we have she's to very deliver scientific. this protein. She, she so. is trying to get that protein to, you know, at least keep their jobs and, you know, uh advance the science at a certain point. Yeah. And, and I like how she she cuts off the stinger and she takes it into the lab and she's in there for like 10 minutes. She's like, done, protein, got it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And this is another thing about scientists in movies. They're always bitching about having to work on the projects they got hired for. I'm sorry. Don't we all have to go to our jobs and work on what they tell us to work on? Yeah. <laughs> I, I also, <laughs> like, no, I yeah. also bitch on the project I have been assigned to work on yeah. or have decided to work but on. But do yeah. you have a secret basement project that you keep secret from everybody else at your job that you're not telling? Them uh, about? No, don't, like, don't, don't answer that. No yeah. comment. Don't, no yep. comment. But like, <laughs> but like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no comment. But like, it's like they're unfamiliar with the basic concept of a job. Right, yeah, right. you get hired no, to do a specific thing. That's how it Michaela, works. Michaela, they're creatives. They can't be held down. <laughs> creative God scientists, thing. what a nightmare. I understand. Yeah. So is it? But ego? you do realize that Michaela has a creative job. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I understand. Which, which is why I'm saying she should understand <laughs> yeah, what's happening like, here. But you like, are also I, a creative. That's why you do it in your free time. You do the stuff you want to do in your free time at your job. You do what they pay you to do. That's yeah. how this shit works. <laughs> but their, I mean, their argument, right, is another ethical quandary. It's like if we have this technology, that if we keep pursuing it, mm-hmm. we can end up curing Parkinson's and Alzheimer's right. and all this mm-hmm. other stuff. And the company is telling us, that's great. We can do point. that. 20 over 20 years but right now right the funding <laughs> right. What is, is based that, on a result right. that you have what is to the deliver thing we can make yes. money off of right now yeah. otherwise because we won't we have money. the money to do that right. 20 year thing which is like <laughs> this exact plot line is also in Megan where she, she's working on Megan and they want her to work on the like Furby type thing yeah. to fund the company so that they can keep doing stuff yep. like Megan yeah Ah, the quandary that always takes place right between, between management and, and labor. And commerce. Another instance of, yeah, lady, you got hired to work on this, so Which, fucking do it. Yeah. It's nothing compared to the quandary we're about to face. <laughs> so while Sarah Polly is at work, Adrian Brody has begun. We have, uh, 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 right. 
in <laughs> leading up to this, we have been um, uh, confronted with scenes that show that um, that she is um, advancing in her. Uh, and possibly sexually mature. She's going through puberty. That's yeah. what the well, wings right, on the she roof were. Physically advancing, like she has grown wings and other things. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, she and could fly mm-hmm. away. And right, that that is puberty. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we are we are realizing that she is an advancing species mm-hmm. at this point mm-hmm. as we move forward. And this isn't the, the end of it either. The, no. This is like her teen years or whatever. She's yeah. like, you oh, know, no, whatever. Are, how, how old is she? A month? Whatever. Uh, yeah. It, it how how long does this long. movie take place? Uh, no, we really should get timestamps. We yeah. don't. But I can't tell because he seems to wear the same clothes all the time. That's just his well, outfit. Was his outfit. outfit. Emo, you know, yeah. they yeah. do that. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, he feels a psychic connection with her. I think at some point he pulls up the security <laughs> camera like an and he seems to be like, oh, because Sarah Polly has like cut all of her clothes off. I think it's basically like you're not really a person. I've been treating yeah. you like a person. You're an animal. Yeah. Which this is a form of torture. Yeah. yeah. For sure. And it, like for sure. dehumanizing. So people. now yeah. she's this naked girl on a, you know, and the is in this tank of water and he's watching her on the 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 uh, monitor and she seems to sense that he's mm-hmm. watching her on the monitor. Mm-hmm. And like reaches towards his hand on the screen. I don't know how that works, but okay. She's looking at the yeah. camera and she's like, I know you're looking at me. So summoned to the, okay. Hold on. There's an important detail though. Uh, he was drunk that, and he's hung over. No, not that, not that. Uh, he finds out when mm-hmm. they're dancing that Sarah used her own DNA yeah. to oh, create right, Jurassic. Right, right, yeah. he's he's rem- this is very right, important yeah. to remember important. going he's forward. He's recognizing yeah. features in her. He's like, oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at my girlfriend's spawn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How many times does he have that scene where like, <laughs> horrifying. I can't believe that you did this. Yeah. You know? So, oh, yeah. The whole movie. Thinking? Yeah. yeah you- everyone's a little too incredulous <laughs> for what everyone else has done up to this point. Mm-hmm. Just like we're all involved in this in, in crazy scientific experiment, I don't think we have. I don't think we should be allowed. Pot, kettle, to, kettle pot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. Yeah, we shouldn't be allowed to be able to do that at this point. Like we're all in the gray area of this scientific experiment. Mm-hmm. Oh, d- dude, the, there's so what he does is so much worse um, than no, anything she does. Well, like, no, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's like he yeah. should not be calling out anybody yeah. because we're all in this. Well, mm-hmm. It's yeah. weird that Badness. Okay, so to that point that you're bringing up, the movie treats it like this is a relationship problem that yeah. he's created like he has gone <laughs> yeah. and fucked the you know, the creature that we created, which is basically their kid. He, which, they ignore okay, the incest yeah. entirely. Yeah, yeah. Ignore that. Just, like, it, it, <sighs> and but what's really going on there is like the ethical. Like, holy, yeah. you're, you're, mm-hmm. this is some kind of. It's he like talks you're about fucking ethical, an animal. Right. He <laughs> talks about ethical <laughs> things earlier on in the movie, <laughs> and then he crosses that line completely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah. this is the reason you remember he fucks this his movie. daughter. Yeah, yes. I just want to put. Yeah, yes. that, that is the thing. He is. And he's he is fucking the thing that he and it goes on for a long time. Daughter. Yeah. And when she there were, this orgasms, is where you were her wings about earlier, pop out. There was a lot of audible, no, no, please yeah. don't, no. It was great this watching is it not, well, with these guys. No! <laughs> but uh, there's there's a pan. Great. Thank you. They do the pan behind like a hay bale, so you think the scene's over, and then it comes out the other side uh, of the hay bale, yeah, and you see yeah, the other angle. Still I happening. love that, because I remember nobody, when nobody wanted this. I remember when I saw this in theaters, everyone thought the scene was over, and then was like, oh, fuck. Was it the same experience in theaters? Just, no, no, oh my, no. Yeah, was any Anybody for this? Like this was no. obviously a line they got crossed, yes, right? One person okay. was for this, Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, and apparently, like, there is, yeah apparently. He's like able to make them squirm, squirm in their seats. And like she's full frontal nude in this. Like there's yeah. a lot of nudity I don't in this like movie. This. I don't, yeah. There's an ass shot of him too. Like and then she it's, ends up yeah. spreading her wings yep. real bit. Uh, That's how you know. Ah, uh, none of this is good. And then Sarah Polly walks in. What? the hell are you doing? And which, then, right, which you give that grievance to a character who we don't like and shouldn't have... Uh. There's a there's a moral equivalency uh, conversation yeah. that happens in the kitchen, right, where he goes kind of like, I'm sorry that I fucked the... You know, the, <laughs> the, the, the very, very, very sorry, very sorry. She's now, like, this is there's be. no coming back from <laughs> yes yeah. at all. Really like no it's A lot of coming, no coming back. I, yeah, I don't... I don't think I ever want to see you again. <laughs> you don't ever you want to see you again. I'm. Uh, she does the right thing of just running away. That's what I would do too. What else yeah. can you do? Yeah, but somehow. But you have gets... an experiment that's going to live. Like we gotta. 
But he gets, so you're like, well, there's no way that he's going to get upper hand on, on this situation, right? Mm-hmm. But somehow he does, not upper hand, but he at least gets an equivalency mm-hmm. in that argument that like, you cut her tail off and blah, 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 mm-hmm. blah, blah, you know, like it was your daughter and you should look at your own mental health, you know, and she's yeah, like, this is okay, a, this we're This is a both real culpable. relationship fight where it doesn't feel like anybody's fighting fair in yeah. as far as what they're bringing to the table. Well, no. I don't. But so now they're like, yeah. okay, we should kill her. Right. Yes. <laughs> Ultimately, they're like, well, what else can we do? Yeah. yeah. Time to kill her. Yeah, it's time to kill her. But too bad for her, I guess. And she doesn't feel the same way. Uh, I think when they go back, she She's has. She's already sick. That's right. She's yeah. sick because I, we didn't mention it, but it established earlier is that her metabolism is so fast that she has a limited lifespan. Yeah. I think that's part of the reason why they decide to do the experiment mm-hmm. is she's going to die. We're going to yeah. get to observe this whole, yeah. you know, right. it's going to be real quick. We'll, we'll get to watch thing. the whole thing. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. It's not right. going to be immoral. We don't have to kill it. Within, you know, yeah. it's mm-hmm. just going to, you know. It'll die on its own. Yeah. Oh yeah, but if we treat it like our daughter and put her in a dress, we might have some problems. Then we're gonna get later. attached yeah. and all this. Stuff. We're gonna end up screwing it. And then, we, yeah, we might fuck it. Yeah, yeah. If we put it in a dress and treat it like our daughter. We might fuck it <laughs> later. <laughs> it's so. Uh, what this it, is fucking, anyway. What a weird movie. <laughs> what a fucking weird. So movie. it had to be done. It had to be done. Movie. So they come back, uh, and she's uh, apparently she dies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For the second time? Yeah. So yeah, they no, bury her in the ground with the Barbie, <laughs> with the Barbie doll. Like, no, that, but that is a that is a real hard cut to we're burying this mm-hmm. thing that died cuz we're just like, "Oh, I think she's dying. Hard cut, she's dead." Yeah, yeah. we're going to bury her. Oof. And buried. Yeah, yeah she yeah. is buried. Yeah. Easy yeah. out for them. They're mm-hmm. like, "Well, but oh, then okay. the pharmacy Easy out for any parent." That's that. I would say. <laughs> Pharmacy guy and Adrian uh, Brody's brother show up, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden there's a screech, an explosion of dirt or something, or a wind. No, I don't even think we did that. We just get from there was the wind. Tree, a screech yeah. from the trees, and then whoa! Yep, wind somebody's from the wing. carried off yeah, yeah. by the bird of and, prey. Oh, but oh, but what? But what has changed? What is different now? What well, happened early, before and that is happening yeah, again in the movie? The little like burrito. Fred and oh Ginger. God, Fred and Ginger, the, the burritos. Incredible. We skipped have over. changed oh, sex. Yeah. We, d- we did. We did skip over. Okay, so Fred and Ginger have their debut to what the stakeholders, right? So <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah, they're showing yeah, off yeah. being like, this is why you should invest in our company. Look at this amazing genetic like accomplishment. It's Fred and Ginger, watch them lovers in the night. Watch they're their supposed tongue, to do their, their what heart, was it? They, Colin yeah. tongue tongue imprinting. The tongue flowers. Tongue flowers. Yeah, tongue flowers. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You're gonna watch them imprint, and they're in these like glass like like science mice containers on the yeah. stage and they just like shoot out their stingers and start fighting in there and it's start blood. stabbing each other. Oh, this was so goes. over the top. Oh, it was amazing. And this they fight so European. hard. This feels very of the director. Yeah. yeah. He had a certain aesthetic. He was just like, He's I'm like, this is how they'll remember bring, bring, Yeah, this is something yeah. to bring They it. fight so crazy that the tank explodes that they're yep. in and the whole first two rows, it's like Ash versus splash Evil Dead, zone. the musical yeah. splash zone. <laughs> it, yeah. it is. Yeah. I'm like, this is where I went and saw at Universal Studios the Ghostbusters stage show, and if you sat in the first two rows, yeah. you would get splashed. They're like, yeah. wear a poncho. Yeah. Yeah. This is that. And yeah. It's hilarious. And then uh, that's all you need to know about that. Well, but they, it, they we it's genders. because, yeah, yeah. yeah. and the two males yeah. together. So, so right, right. They, yeah, yep. Dren mm-hmm. has now switched genders yes. and become a male. Yes. Yeah. And Looks territorially like a crazy or something. Yeah. 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 A gar- yes, yeah. a gargoyle. Yeah. yeah. So that, of course, leads up to the scene where Adrian Brody is incapacitated and Sarah Polly is attacked by now the now male Dren, right? Yeah. And she's like, what do you want? What do you want? And Dren speaks. Her first words. Well, now, prior to this, say? she had been spelling out outside. I want to go outside, yeah. right? And they're yeah. like, we can't let you outside. Now Dren wants to go inside. Yeah. Well, because Sarah Pauly <laughs> is telling her earlier when she's having one of her weird projectile therapy moments at her, like, you are me. I'm a part of you. I'm inside you, is what she, she says say to her. Which Don't- uh, so now male Dren wants to get inside she her. Says, and inside so, you. Yeah. Bam. There's, there's uh, a I feel about that, Holly. This movie. I don't feel good. Yeah. So both of them have ended up having some kind of sex with, with this, Dren. Yes. Yeah, they, right. Yeah. This movie I, I was like going that. all. They both yeah. have sex with Dren. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then Adrian Brody it, comes look, to the rescue it, and beats the thing again. In a very intimate fashion, there's thrusting, there is reactions to it yep. there is yeah. a lot yeah, you know that no, she had sex no mm-hmm. she's full on raped yeah, yeah yes yeah by she is full on raped by yeah. the creature yeah, yeah. yes there's no doubt and uh 
she stabs Adrian Brody and the he, she Steve Irwin's him. He gets yeah. the stinger right the to stinger the heart. Right to the heart. Right to the yeah. heart. Yep. There was an yeah. interesting scene because it was like Sarah Sarah Polly had or Adrian Brody I think stabbed Dren mm-hmm. with a you know through the heart. Yep. Yeah. Dren survives. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Sarah Polly bashes her in the head, head. with with a rock. Right. Yeah. Right. And then as Sarah Polly's about to deliver the killing blow. Mm-hmm. It's like Dren goes, "Well, I'm going to take him away from you." Yep, and stabs him in the mm-hmm. in the heart with yeah. the, the stinger. Yeah, and then Sarah Polly, you know, finishes That's the job. Right but yeah, yeah. It, it is like a vindictive, mm-hmm. like I'm going to take him away from you. Mm-hmm. If I can't have him, nobody will. Right in the heart. She'd yep. been drawing pictures of him. Yeah, just like Orphan, yeah. the other Dark Castle movie. <laughs> yep, yep. she been drawing pictures. She pictures had her own daddy by the yep. <laughs> drawing pictures of daddy. <laughs> yeah, there was yep. a there was a there was a thing. <laughs> But at the end of the movie, this is uh, where it really just when you think it can't get any more gross. Yeah, because we're like, well, how this is one of those moments where like, well, how do you explain this? You've got a dead pharma exec. You've got dead scientists, two dead scientists. You're in a dead thing with wings and Mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Um, Yeah. How do you explain this? Well, thank God for the pharmacy company and their uh, they had some kind of team forensics team that they sent there to clean it all up and they own the patents. And now, well, they said that Dren had a bunch of unique like genetic characteristics that had never been seen before. So for each unique characteristic, they were filing a patent. So this is a gold mine. It's going to sustain the pharmaceutical company for forever. This, of course. They wouldn't be able to use any of these, right? right? I mean, right. that's the whole idea of the thing is like, it's well, human, you know, so. well, how did you get these right. compounds? And then the, right. the game would be up, but whatever. Right. <laughs> in this movie, the, this movie. So, but what's, what's going on? So she has a, a, a conference with the, uh, the head mm-hmm. of the, the French woman who runs the pharma- yeah. uh, pharmaceutical company. And we discover that she is still participating in the experiment. Taking it to the next level. Yep. This woman is dedicated to her craft. <laughs> She's going to carry the rape child from Dren. To see what happens. To see what happens. Because She's what's the worst that could happen? What's, what's the worst, the worst that, that could happen? I mean, which at this point, I mean, it been, makes the most it's sense. It's been pretty bad. It's the worst. But how much worse can it get for her? No, to leave. Well, well she's, it sure. could be a suicide trip at this yeah, point. But like, that's what I'm saying. But no to leave the movie on. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, like, she lost her husband. She lost everything. So, like, I get in this point in the movie why she's being like, what, worst case scenario, I die. So, you know, like. I think worst case scenario is bringing this thing into the world. Right, right. That's who the only kill thing about more people? Kill the rest of us. With yeah, the path that she everyone else but dies. She that is that. the worst. She only cares about her that. ego she and her own uh, journey because so. she's just like her mother. Yeah, exactly. Oh, then, don't no. become a mom. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm glad you said it. Just like your mother. Oh no, that would be bad. Sadly, there was no splice too. I wish. I know. Do you? Not even direct to video. We'll find out. I mean, kind of. Yeah. All right. Well, I would like to see um, a second one. <laughs> well, now <laughs> that's, that's, that's I mean, but she's pregnant. That's a perfect setup. It's a setup. Yeah, that's why I, I want okay. a second one. Yeah. As, as a person who loves sequels, there was yeah. a fly like, too. Why are you yeah. against this yeah. Mr. sequel? As, well, okay, but I will also know that there are things that we should not do, and a sequel to this is something we should not do. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Ethics. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we're going to find out whether or not we would recommend that you watch this movie. We're going to go around the table individually and review it. But for, before we do, we are going to answer some of your mail. And uh, to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank do, you, Igor. Do you feel good about bringing it out of your back pocket? Do you ever feel like? Do you ever feel like you need to bring it out of the shirt pocket? Like, <laughs> do you think Igor's related to Dren? Do you think he, they shared DNA? He's definitely yeah. genetically and, modified. Uh, he's genetically a uh, genetically of, altered being. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. definitely I think he yes. has a lot of different DNA. Yes, yes, him. yes. I was kind of surprised that and he was created in a laboratory. They didn't give her a name that was an acronym for something. That's Alley usually card. how these movies go, you know? That's the best one. But like, you know, Megan, they're a model <laughs> Dren. three genera- generated I hate, Android. I or hate the nerd Dren. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Dren. Dren. I don't like it. Um, well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can contribute and write in and participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or X Twitter. At Set Freak Show. 
or they can email us directly. Center at freakshowyahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Threads Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, wants us to know that, yes, we have inducted Adrian, Adrian Brody, Brody. Um, to the wall because of... We did the village. Yep. The jacket. Yep. No. no. <laughs> yeah, Predators? I got you there. No. No. We did the Grand Budapest Hotel. Oh, that's right. oh way back yeah. in the day. Okay. It's not a freak show. No, that's <laughs> no, a, not no. at all. I love that movie. But we have but, an but, but it's a, it. right, it's but it's a, but it's a good movie. But good I like that movie. Yeah. I think we all liked it uh, when we were watching. Well, yeah, it's great, but it's not a freak show. Movie. Uh, no. Sarah Polly also has right. been uh, inducted. Dawn of the Dead. Oh, congratulations! Yep, Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. And nope. Existent. Oh, For, she was she was main Cronenberg in Existent. Oh. <laughs> she was what? She was in Existence, the Cronenberg movie. Yeah. No, so I understand that. Like but a, as as what? Uh, she was at the very end. She was leading the uh, oh the, the resistance, uh, the game, yeah, the oh. game. Oh, the she was. You're right. You're right. Right. Yes. Okay. Uh, and Adrian Brody. Yeah, we said we did you're the right, village splice like yeah. in yeah. Grand Budapest. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, about tonight's movie splice. Uh, yep. Richard Kratzer writes in and says, "Yes, I've looked for, I've looked everywhere for content <laughs> regarding this flick. The podcasts oh. that I have reviewed it have not gotten into it the way that I know that you guys will. <laughs> My wife hated this movie, <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. It's a pseudo sexual, uncomfortable monster flick. Talk about a roller coaster of a ride. Buckle in, y'all. You're not mm -hmm. wrong." Uh, that is, that's accurate. Yeah. Travis Legler says this is a textbook example of why the freak show should exist. <laughs> this is one of those cult oh. movies that once you've seen it, you can't forget it. I bet anything Colin will be laughing at a lot as he recounts what happens. I know Michaela will like it. I think Sean will. Holly, oh. I'm guessing will like it, but I think it's fucked up and gross. Or she'll think <laughs> it's fucked up and gross. I'm predicting this will be freak show approved. Great pick, Michaela. Hey, I, I do like our <laughs> listeners guessing. I yeah, we will. Uh, let's we'll see we'll think how of this. accurate. Yeah. I will you say are. how much we will disappoint them. <laughs> before we watched this. I asked who had seen it, and Holly was like, "I'm not sure if I have or not." I'm like, "You would remember if you've seen this movie." <laughs> well, I sticks with you. I have a terrible memory, but I would remember this. Yes. Right? <laughs> yep. You would be. Yeah. You. Yep. You. You'd, you'd I was figure like, you'd out. remember <laughs> monster fucking <laughs> to this degree. This one sticks with you. Yep. Um, uh, Jeff Miller says, I haven't liked Adrian Brody ever since I saw this. And granted, oh. it was my first introduction to the guy. Oh, I kind of go. agree. I kind of don't really like Adrian Brody. Yeah, you really got to. I think he has peaked in high school energy because he won the Oscar so young. Yeah. Was and that like his, that was his first movie? Was it The Pianist? No, no but he's the youngest person to win the best actor oscar still to no. this day. So he's 29 uh, when he won or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Really? So, yeah. So, like, I feel like. He peaked early and kind of just I been stumbling. I him in uh, Midnight in Paris when he played Dolly. That gotcha. was wonderful. He does. He, I mean, wonderful. he's got roles that I do like him in. He's got some he horribly did, miscast like things. like every Wes Anderson yeah. movie yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was, oh, yeah. I did not care for him in Predators. No. Yeah, he was like miscast. Yeah, yeah probably not no. great. Mm -mm. How do we feel about him in uh, um, uh, The Village? I we talked about yeah we talked about it in the episode yeah. but yeah. didn't care for he it he was either. in that Dario Argento movie that like nobody has oh. ever yeah. seen he's a producer on it mm -hmm. that was the one where the producers got sued oh, uh, no. and I don't think mm -hmm. it was called Giallo yeah yeah it came out the no. same year yeah, yeah. Oh, did it okay yeah, that, yeah. I think the important, it's been buried yeah <laughs> I think the important thing here is that this movie stars two Oscar winners <laughs> yeah two it does yes. it does two Oscar, Oscar winners for? Oscar winner and banned from SNL famously yeah. too uh, Adrian I think Sarah probably won it from uh, the Julianne Julianne Moore movie yeah. no no best director I think best writer best writer that was it I think yeah. she wrote it for the still uh, Alice I'm still I'm no, still um, I'm still here. No, no, I'm uh, still out. It's not Julianne Moore. No, it's no, the Alice movie. It's You're the, right. The women, still... something women. Um, oh, I thought it was a Julianne Moore movie. Not Little Women. No, 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 no. no. That was Greta Gerwig. I okay. thought she wanted for the Julianne Moore movie. Still it's, Alice. Uh, okay, I'm well, still we're, Alice. Captain Google is looking <laughs> it up, and while they do that, uh, Kryptonian Orphan says this flick gave me serious The Fly vibes. It did. Yeah, I'm glad to it. no sequel was made, however, because Thank I doubt God. that it would have lived up to my expectations. It's such an interesting stinger. Pun intended. Uh -huh. And a great pick this week. Women uh, talking. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she came out last year. Yeah. 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 She write that. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. Good for her. Yeah. yeah good. 
Mark Zidane says, genetics horror movie with a simple description. You know the movie where Adrian Brody fucks the weird mutant thing with wings? <laughs> mm-hmm. Plain and simple. Uh, like, uh, if I didn't know that it was that this is what it was known for before, that's what I'm going to know it for uh, going forward. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Simon Carter says, once, once seen, never forgotten, so I guess the movie is a success. Shrugs. Uh, definitely wasn't expecting what I got. Bishaw Foolery says, Bishaw Foolery Bishaw! says, weirdest ending ever. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a choice. Okay. Jimbo Ice says, I don't hate it. I certainly cannot forget it, and I never want to watch it again. Equally uncomfortable, <laughs> seductive, hilarious, and schlock, but so well acted and realized that it overcomes its issues with tone, pace, and motivation. In some ways, Splice is not unlike the director's debut, Cube, but like Cube, there's a lot going on beneath the schlock, which makes it richer than it seems. Do not. Watch it with your kids. That's a good, <laughs> no. that's a good warning. Or your no, parents. It, Don't watch it with warning. your parents either. It's a good warning. I like I like his review because it gets into the intricacies of all of yeah, it. Just so, don't watch it you. with family. Don't, don't watch, watch it with watch other it people. You know, yeah. just watch yeah. it. No, watch it no, alone. Don't watch it on your own. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't do that. We'll tell you. <laughs> Maybe there soon. isn't an appropriate situation. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is there a problem? Maybe there isn't. You know? Maybe there isn't. Maybe not. <laughs> like, do you have a freak show? Watch it with them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, who, who is your freak yeah. show? Ooh, that's a good, yeah, that's yeah. a good homegrown, like, yeah. advertising yeah. Yeah. thing. Like, who's your freak who's show? Your I freak like it. Show. Yeah. Don't watch it on a date. There we go. Not a date. I like movie. it. Yeah. No. Yeah. And uh, Novato Judoka writes in and says, Gross, gross, gross. I need a shower. Gross. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what we said. Too. Yes. What? When we were watching it. Mm-hmm. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called Strike Commando, and Joey Blythe wrote in and said, I tried. I tried to watch it three times and I fell asleep three times and I never made it much further than the That's people fine. screaming, American! <laughs> I did try to watch Strike Commando 2. It started with a flashback scene in a swamp with explosions and people doing flips and jumping through the air for absolutely no reason. It was in slow motion, which made it more obviously bad. I watched long enough to see Dumbledore and I'm good. Mm-hmm. I did my job. Can we yes. start with a flashback yeah. scene if none of the actors are the same? I mean, they did it. <laughs> yeah, it's a flashback, but Stop it's a making me on. curious about Strike Commando 2. Sean's going to go home. Ah, no. Michael Whitaker says, oh, YouTube. this is for Michaela. Mm-hmm. I got electrocuted once, plugging <laughs> in a big yes. sign. I found it in my basement when I was a kid. There was a big flash, and I jumped back. I did feel current jump through my body. Yeah, there it's a go. weird feeling. And like you it's said, it feels good. like you lose time. It feels like yeah. you glitch out for a second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, but it also hurts. It's weird. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, thank you, uh, each of you. Thank you very much for writing in. We yes, appreciate we really it. really appreciate it. Thank you. And now we're going to go around the table and we're going to review Splice, starting with <sighs> Holly. Mm. <laughs> what did you think about Splice? Yeah, I hated this movie. Yeah. I hated it. Yeah. It was just yeah. awful and gross, and the writing was bad. Yeah. Um, You don't got to say a lot about this one. But. Uh, you understand. <sighs> but, No. It's an experience that you might need to have. Ooh. Maybe. What are you telling people? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> if. Oof. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I know. I'm, I'm so torn because I really do feel like that you should see this. <laughs> it's a thing is believing. Wow, wow, <laughs> but I also wow. don't want anyone to wow, ever see wow. it. Wow. <laughs> so I'm very torn. <laughs> I feel like since I had to watch it, you should have to watch it. <laughs> Some recommend it. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, wow. I'm giving in. The magic of the future, I had to right sit there. It, so so should you. <laughs> That's it. I hate it. You should watch it. <laughs> Colin, what do you think? Um. Yeah, I like this movie. I don't know. It. Uh, it. It's. Did it accomplish what it set out to do? Okay, so here it's not a great movie. It's not a great movie because I think uh, kind of like you know what it reminded me of. Uh, don't breathe in the way that Don't Breathe has a scene in it that was meant to be amazing. talked about, right? Yes. That is so over-the-top gross that it almost feels out of place with the rest of the it movie. It does. This one feels like, <clears throat> I mean, that was my thesis going into it. It's like they started with the, this is what why you will remember this movie, right? Is because the scientist fucks. They built the movie around that. Scene. Yeah, yes. I think so. It fe- <laughs> yeah. To me, yeah. it feels like that was the idea, and yeah. they worked the movie around it. Well, where would it start? It would start back here when they were trying to do this, and then yeah. then they had to develop this that became the you know. Um, I don't think the writing is good. <laughs> no. Um, but 
it's the tone that the movie is pitched at, which is this over the top uh, schlock fest. I think that's the thing. It, it feels like a respectable movie and that the writers did their research into, you know, genetics and, and all this. But really what it is at its heart is like some kind of grindhouse, you know, experience where I don't know that I'd call it respectable. It's got a sheen. No, I w- oh, okay. a sheen it's at polished. the beginning, right? It's like it's a major theatrical Warner Brothers film. This was a multi million sure, dollar movie. It was expensive, yeah. Well, okay. yeah, but it it, okay. go- it looks like it. It looks expensive. I guess yeah, it's, yeah it, it looks lo- like a respectable oh, movie. Yeah, it has it looks, a respectable yeah. Oscar winning, as you pointed yeah. out, uh, actors in the cast, and then it's going to basically go down into the basis level of you know, ew, <laughs> you know. Uh, Ugh, I think, he's gonna fuck it. That's yeah, what it goes to, yeah, because then it's like, well, we will get to uh, explore all sorts of moral quandaries with this movie uh, that's oh. very of the moment, and mm-hmm. you know. But really, you just want to have the audience go. I hear Guillermo del Toro in the back of my head somewhere laughing like a maniac because he's like, oh, yes, as said, he ooh. sat in the back of yes. a theater with everybody just like cringing. And he's like, this is like I'm playing them like a like an orchestra, you know, like a Hitchcock thing. I'm um, like a harp from hell. <laughs> <laughs> what movie was that? Batman, that Returns. Batman Returns. Batman Returns. Yeah. Right, right, right. I play that stupid city <laughs> like a harp from hell. Yeah, that's what this movie's doing to you, Colin. I know, it worked. Um, it's oh, not great, but I think you should see it. It's uh, uh, one of those Cronenberg uh, uh, adjacent. It is. It, it does is, feel yeah, like somebody is. making an ode to a Cronenberg movie mm-hmm. years after. And so you do get kind of heavy influences of his earlier stuff. I wonder what the David Cronenberg version of this would have been. Right. Yeah. But the yeah, it would have been much different. I mean, better script, I feel like, but... Yeah, it would have been a slower paced, mm-hmm. you know, and you would have probably better character work and better acting. Oh, 100% would have been better character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sean wants... To, I would recommend it. I said it. I led with that. Sean's like, wrap it up. Sean! No, no, no. Wrap it up. Like, <laughs> all right, you're saying like, oh, it could have been It could have been this. It could have been better character work. It could have been better scripting. I'm like, yeah, it could have been all those things. It, Why are you recommending this? Okay. Well, if, just for what I said, it, it is... It doesn't have to be good to recommend yeah. it. Right. It's the... It I guess the not. Over it's not the is it's good. It's... is it's. It, would you watch it? Those it, are two different yeah. It provokes a reaction, Mm -hmm. and it is... uh, an experience. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so for that, as a horror fan... No, 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 you're right. I recognize it on the level that you two have recommended it on. I don't think I'm there yet. Okay. I I I, I don't think I've gotten to that level. I don't know if I can get to that level. I'm not there tonight, so I'm gonna not recommend it just because... Were you grossed out? Is that why... Oh, definitely. Okay. Uh, thoroughly, especially when we got to like, oh, he's going to have sex with the thing he thought was his daughter for the last hour of the movie. Okay. Um, no, I can't. I'm not on that level uh, now. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be on that level, uh, I, but I, I don't think the uh, I don't think the script lets me get there because it's very. Uh, basic. It's very, it's, it's very scientists doing an experiment, um, which I, you know, it, it's just not interesting. Um, it, it gets wild. Uh, this movie's but, not interesting. I'm not, in, no, I'm not interested in the places it goes. Like it doesn't. Did you have an objection? I would not say I call this movie boring. Like I would yeah. definitely no, not say no, it's not no, boring. no. I will. I wouldn't. Uh, no, I wouldn't call it boring. No, the content w- of this movie is not of interest it's to any gross. of us. No, yeah, right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you because I don't think uh, necessarily that came across. <laughs> We've in, been talking in, about how gross it is this whole time, yeah. dude. It's awful. Yeah, I literally not, started my review with I hate it. Right, but you have to. <laughs> I think you have to. You have to, keep, you have to wrap that around in your in, at the end of it. Mm-hmm. Just so we know fully what you're thinking of it. Um, no, it's okay. Just no, no. Okay. I don't think so. Well, I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, I don't. I... But it's the idea of would you recommend it to somebody else to have that experience? If you're that's like, the question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to watch it again, mm-hmm. but I think someone who hasn't seen it should experience mm-hmm. it. Our listeners. <sighs> don't feel pressured, right. though. If you don't, no, if yeah. you're like, no, but stay what, away from what it. Are, but what are they getting out of it to to sit through this movie, to experience it? Is it something they'll come out at the other end of it 
uh, with with something to think about. You're or... assigning so much philosophical I'm being told status to. to this movie. Being... No, no, you're not being told to. <sighs> <laughs> Your reaction is no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm no, hearing. it's a no. I don't. No. Was it revolting? You were, you were revolted by this movie. I think is that what's going on. You're like, fuck this. This is there's, you know like. And no. I, I feel like there's two types of revolted. I, I, I don't. There's revolted where like you should see this. Yeah, movie. revolted exactly. Revolted, you shouldn't watch. I don't this. think yeah. the character motivations uh, like uh, Adrian Brody Ooh. fucks this thing as his daughter. I don't think that is worth watching the movie i don't think that is a, a a character motivation that is um achieved or uh, uh or it doesn't mean anything like it uh, you, as far as story goes like he should he have fucked the thing i don't think so no he shouldn't have <laughs> what, what, these are not what I'm saying these people like, are not it's it's not, not measuring six <laughs> within the but i don't think we should have gotten there within the script no matter what that's the point yeah You're right but they made the movie that way like yeah. you guys are i don't think we no don't watch this movie no it's I don't, just so you're saying it went over the top that's I, the problem I think it went it. too far. Yeah. Like, like I don't agree with where the, the these characters went. You guys laugh, but <laughs> okay. I'm just listening to your reasoning. All dude. right. Um. No, I don't. No, I won't recommend this movie. There you go. That's it. I'm done. Michaela. I can't believe out of all the objectionable stuff we've watched on here, this is the one that breaks you. <laughs> this is the one, Sean, that you're like, I can't. I, too too far. This is too far. Like, I'm I'm more just aghast at everyone else recommending this, but okay, I, I, whatever. I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm a bum. This is not going to be freak show approved because I feel like this is a prime freak show material. Like this is it. This movie is the reason why this podcast exists. I can't believe this movie got made in 2009 with two Oscar winners and a 30 million dollar budget. Yeah. Like that's incredible. I. That this, movies like this to me are a sign of a healthy movie ecosystem, right? Because like <laughs> this movie, like the fact the fact that a studio, I, I get what yeah, you're saying. yeah. The, like like things are going good if a studio and that, is willing anything to we want can be a movie. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That, okay. I love but that. Should it? Okay, yes. all right. Should it? I I love that. Okay. Okay. A studio saw the script and said yes and said signed a check for $30 million that Adrian Brody said yes I already have an Oscar but sure why not <laughs> like I, the fact that this perfect storm came together this way is a miracle I feel and like I, you guys are gung ho for a movie that is not interesting is boring and it's and, boring and, and, it was and, not should, boring. and should not exist it is not, not boring bored. you could say a lot of things about this movie boring is not one of not them bored. yeah uh, you were audibly reacting I mean, I could, to this movie I, I, I feel like I can say what I want and then you shouldn't <laughs> be able to judge me for that but, but okay uh it's no you gotta watch this movie it's, it has to be seen to be believed like i saw this in theaters when it came out and i went and saw it in theaters because when i was in college when this came out everyone was talking about like dude adrian Brody fucks that monster in that movie like word of mouth for this movie was fucking crazy and the thing that i remember my classmates talking about when it came out was there's a, the scene in the trailer where, where, where when they're fucking and her wings pop out that scene's in the trailer but it's cropped in mm. so you don't see that she's mounting him so they put the sex scene in the trailer and you didn't even know it like it's it's, so I, I, I remember crazy. the commercials were everywhere for this movie. It had a huge marketing push. Um, and I just remember them telling me how crazy it was and thinking like, well, I've seen a lot of horror movies. They're exaggerating. Mm. And then I went and saw it and was like, oh, no. Oh, no. They were not exaggerating. Like, not only does he fuck that monster, but you, it goes on for a while. It is a full-blown sex scene. It's not a, like, we lay on the bed and cut away. It is like oof yeah it's a lot um no it's this thing is believing you gotta see it to believe it because it's just an appalling movie. it's an appalling movie it's disgusting <laughs> don't get me wrong i i don't and no one in this movie is like uh, uh an aspirational character by any means mm -hmm. it's it is it is like an examination of like ego and like uh untreated abuse going out of control right like mm -hmm. and uh maybe it doesn't need all that subtext uh, for me it doesn't but I appreciate that they're trying to do something here. So I'm, I got to recommend it. You got, it's just, it's so gross. And so, but it, the effects look so good still. And like, they do. Ooh, they that child well. actress and the prosthetics is really upsetting to look at. And it's just, yeah, yeah it's those two thirds of K and B, I think were yes. responsible mm -hmm. for the, yeah. Yeah. And it looks great. And I, I want to live in a world where movies like this get made because why the fuck not? You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. there you go. That's Splice. Mm -hmm. Very divisive mm -hmm. movie here tonight. Uh, yeah. Um, 
So next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Colin. What are you going to do? Well, you know, uh, we were talking about it, and the last uh, uh, <laughs> one that I chose uh, was about witchcraft in, All right, uh, in the 60s. Movie, I think it is. <clears throat> All right, go. Well, it's going to be another Christopher Lee movie, The Devil Rides Out. Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it. Awesome. We talked about it so much. I know. I'm like, well, I should just do that right. next. Yeah. We talked about it so much, and I'm just like, ah. You've recommended this to me a few times, so I'm yeah. excited to watch yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. So I'm we'll do good it. for it. And we haven't done a Hammer movie in a while. Yeah, why not? I used yeah. to bring them all the time, and I was like, ah, we're probably done with Hammer movies. No, we'll we never. Are. There's no, so many. Done enough. We're never done with Hammer movies. <laughs> Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. All right. So The Devil Rides Out next week on the Saturday Night Free Show. You can do your homework. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs>